Hey, Sierra family, Corbett here with another virtual church update. This is the second week of July. Now, make sure that you are signed up to receive our weekly emails. That's the best way to find out what's going on week to week as we adapt to all the changes. Like this week, we got our junior high and high school going to go out on their very first devotional day hike. We're going to meet at the Big Meadow Trailhead and head out for the afternoon, get some fresh air, talk about the Word of God and nature. Should be fun. So if you've got a junior high or high school student who's interested in that or events like that over the summer, just email me, corbett at sierra.church, and I would love to get you the information, get you connected to what we're doing over the summer. And we are still meeting Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. and 1045. We're going through the book of Proverbs, and this week Dan gets to talk about what the book of Proverbs says about anger. Next week, Noah is going to look at what the book of Proverbs says about sex and sexuality. And that's important to keep in mind because if you have been bringing your family, or if you've got younger children, then you're going to want to use discernment on whether or not that message would be appropriate or age appropriate for your family, and especially for your kids. So keep that in mind. The week after that, I get to talk about what the book of Proverbs says about money. And oh boy, the book of Proverbs has a lot to say about money. It's an, an important aspect in our lives. So look forward to that. Now, Speaking of the book of Proverbs and wisdom, we've been getting some questions about where is the wisdom, where's Sierra's wisdom in making the decisions to adhere to the health guidelines that we have. We are asking you on Sunday mornings to show up and wear a mask. And if you don't have one, we have them to provide for you. We've altered our worship service as well. So what, where is the wisdom in that? And I, I think that our convictions are coming from the Word of God. I will say that we are not making these choices lightly. We meet regularly to discuss them because they're changing frequently. And our example comes from Jesus, as the Apostle Paul said in the book of Philippians. He said, though Christ was God, he did not consider that something to use for his own advantage. And instead, he took the form of a servant. He emptied himself. He humbled himself for you and I. And we feel that the best way to be gracious with our neighbors in every respect, is to take the same position of humility. And that's what we're doing. And guys, it could just be, look, that, that God has altered our meetings, has interrupted our schedules so that uh, the church would be spread out into the neighborhoods of South Lake Tahoe. We would have new opportunities to example that humility of Jesus for our neighbors. So guys, let's not miss this opportunity. Listen to the voice of God. And be gracious with one another. We love you. We miss you. And until we see each other again, God bless.